Wow. Look at you. Can I just look at you for a second, Tom? What's up, man? How you doing? Good. More importantly, how are you doing during this whole crisis? I'm doing pretty good. I've had, I've had a lot of things going on. So I tried to, um, you know, be smart, but not fearful. And I actually moved to Tampa and I'm down here now. My family's here. You're renting Derek Jeter's place until you find a place of your own, right? No, I'm going to stay here for a while, you know, because I had to find a place on really short notice. And he's been a friend of mine. So we just talked and it all worked out because he's living in Miami. He owns part of the baseball team there. The thing I heard about Jeter's place, which is great. He got special permission to build super high walls so no one can get to you. Because yeah. I got to figure the fans down there are driving you up a wall. I mean, and, and, you know, literally. So Jeter has super high walls and no one can see you, right? It's almost like Osama bin Laden's compound. <laughs> not quite. Not quite. That's a, uh, Derek did a pretty good job of screening it. And I think I'm a little bit of a introvert. I feel like my house is kind of the place where I can relax. And, um, you know, when you walk outside the house, you understand everything that goes along with being me. And, right. you know, and I think part of it is when I come home, I want to feel like I can, you know, let my guard down and relax. But this is a little different because when you go out to the backyard, there's a lot of boats that have pulled up and, Oh. Keep out the front, but let's say the washing machine breaks. Does Jeter have to come yeah. over and fix it? Cause you're paying him. I call and I bitch to him and he gets the <laughs> fix. So everyone thinks they want to own a home and it's nice to rent. I mean, I would definitely say like, there's no, you can get all the benefits with none of the responsibilities. So I'm totally cool with this. Yeah. And I mean, how does that all work? Like does Jeter like say, look, Tom, we're your friend, but now we got to talk business. This is what I'm charging you a month. And do you kind of say, Hey, you know, dude, what about a little price break here or, or was Friends it an and easy family? Yeah. Who, it was, yeah. Who negotiated that? Uh, not neither of us. So right. we let other people handle it. So it worked out good. He left it furnished for me. So I didn't have to deal with any of that. So it was just a lot of great things about it. Not uh, not crappy furniture. In other words, I know you're a bit of an architectural freak. You love to uh, design your own home and you look at Jeter's taste and you don't want to throw up. <laughs> no, no, he's got great taste. Did Jeter collect like a first month security? deposit and uh and last <laughs> month's security deposit i mean because you know you're like my lawyer over here i mean he was yeah. pretty good about it so we we handled it the right way he's he's a really cool guy and i've known him for a long time so i actually think it was pretty simple man over the years when you were playing with new england and everything and and, and doing your thing there were so many times you almost came on my show well first off i've loved the show for a long time i lived in boston for 20 for about 15 years and i would have a about a 30, 40 minute drive into work every day. So I listened to you for years upon years. And, uh, and I always loved really a lot, a lot of things. I mean, your work ethic and, you know, how important it was to you, how important you take your job and how you prepare and, you know, the collective teamwork of it. So I always thought, you know, if I ever went on the show, I'd want it to be really good, you know, because I think you, you just have a way that, that, you know, you make, you make things very special. 